I got ChatGPT and Gemini to battle it out in making three completely different games from scratch. Each of them will be scored on a scale from 1 to 10 and a winner will be decided in the end. We're going to start off with Freddy Fazbear. Make me a plan that's a pretty fat horror game which I can play straight away without any engine based on the first game so it doesn't try to do anything complex or anything like that. Make it through to 6 a.m. to win. Animatronic is chasing you down on camera and you need to lock them out of the office. First person. So let's just see what it does. Oh, that's cool. Man, this is low. This better be good. It should be coming towards the end now. Oh, there we go. I can make the AI more aggressive over time. Oh, I'm curious now. Let's see this. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. I, I was not expecting something that sort of polished on the first run. The doors, you got the... How do I go onto the camera? Oh, cameras. Um, there. Oh, okay. All right. And oh, oh he's there. He closes these doors. Just, I wonder if I can actually see. Oh, there he is. The white dot. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm quite impressed with that for the first time. Well, I just fed in another prompt, basically just asking to make it more first person rather than being just like a bird's eye view of the whole office. And it gave me this, which I'm actually really happy with. Like, come on, considering this thing has literally done it in like four minutes. These doors have even got animations, which I was not expecting. I was just sort of expecting like a one PNG here, another here. Well, let me actually try playing this. Hold on. All right. Okay. Where is he? He's, okay. He's there. You're right. Wait, why can't I just close both doors? I've busted my power run out. Oh, I beat the game, guys. I want to make him an actual animatronic i said amazing so yeah do you hate me add sound effects and make it so there's an actual animatronic crocodile jump scaring me also give him his own voice and line when he jump scared me taking a while thinking oh okay so it, it can't actually like generate sound files that's fair enough i introduced to you five nights at freddy's I, I don't even know how many games are at this point oh, wow okay so we got a little crocodile guy right there and he, has he just turned back into a white dog no he, he's still there i think we got two animatronics all right um Oh, oh. here you go guys, grabbed some. You should listen to that. Okay, all right. On a real note, for 15 minutes of time and for what it produced, I'd say that was like a, a five out of 10. All right, let's just move on to Gemini now. Ooh, Gemini's cooking. This is impressive. I know it's a, the first one and it's obviously simple, but the fact that it literally did this within like less than two minutes is crazy. It's so clean as well. Look at the flashlight animation and everything. Oh, it doesn't look like the power's going down. The time's going really fast though and adjustments need to be made great i want you to make it so there are multiple cameras i can see the doors the power doesn't seem to be going down so make that go down and give me a flashlight why not oh yeah we got the multiple cameras duck and bunny what revolutionary characters okay it's still looking pretty it's good don't get me wrong it's good the power's going down now clock is ticking as usual but i'm gonna be honest we need a bit more excitement oh i died okay all right we need a bit more excitement okay don't want it to just say office or have these boring visuals please give me some nice graphics sorry i'm still oh i can't do it yeah okay all right fair enough not even simple ones all right okay we've got a graphics update boys yeah, it's definitely looking a, a bit better eerie duck pixel eerie bunny pixel just added a word okay the lighting is looking a bit but oh the animations oh, wow that's actually really impressive that's a solid solid thing right there to be like a doomish style 3d game where we can walk through and just run from animatronics and stuff let's just see what it does to that a truth oh okay all right pixel nightmare let's go oh no it's not let me do it can i fix this no nah, okay time's up anyway well all in all i'd probably give this game a 5.5 just because it was a lot quicker <laughs> make a mario type platformer game called super michael bros i want there to be three levels first in the mushroom kingdom second on ice and third in a castle with an end boss fight no game engine i'm also just gonna ask it to provide simple sprites with simple animations just to see what it does yeah, it's cooking all right now it's finally working on it super michael bros is coming to life guys ah great it's ready all right let's give this a spin okay wow this is really good for the first run jumping's definitely too fast that's one thing i'm really impressed with this Let's get to the end of this one. So the next one should be ice. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so the reason I wanted it to be ice is so we could have that little bit of slide just to honor. Oh, no, that's not right. What was not right? So we could just have a little bit of that sort of slidiness to it. Just, I'm quite happy with that. And to be fair, the sprites for the first rendition are also really good. I did say simple and they did deliver. So what is this thing? Why am I going back to the star? Boss, isn't it? What even is that? I, I was expecting like a dragon or something. Why am I not good enough for you? You like that first rendition. However, I have some tweaks. On the ice level, there was water, which I could just walk over same with the lava i want the water to make michael sing and have to spam space to get out of it so it's like 
He has to swim. And I want the lava to just eliminate you. Also, the jumping is too fast. Please make it faster on the way up, but slower on the way down. I want to Shut test how much it's going to be able to progress within just Shut one jump. Add in power-ups like ones which make you big air and one which lets you throw fire. They also give you an extra hit. Turtle enemies which turn into shells. You can push away when you jump on them. And finally, these increase quality of sprites and added a nice menu. I'm just going to feed that to it and see what it does. It's taking a very long time thinking with this one. Oh, yes. Okay, so you got a nice little hat doesn't remind me of anything there we go i'm a bit bigger now i want to test the extra hit yeah there we go oh it's got a little animation as well that's cool it's a bit of a rage bait game i like a bit of a challenge on my games oh <laughs> that works sick it would be cool if I had a water bounce or something. Okay, that water is definitely a major bug. It's just not letting me do anything with it. So I basically just went back to GPT and said, level two is impossible because the water just makes you fall right through and it's too big of a jump to clear. And then I also asked it to add basic sound effects and particles just to give it more of a polished and finished effect. We got sound effects and particles with cooking. Who needs a triple A game? All right, let me just have a little play of this. Okay, first level done. Let's see if the water works. Oh, come on, man. Well, I think we can jump over it now anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Finally, the main boss. All right, let's, let's... Oh, crap. To be fair, it's listened to my prompt about the lava. However, I can't clear the jump of the lava now. We are out of time. I am very impressed with that. I'm going to be honest. It is very fair to give that a 7 out of 10. Hey, you think Surprise, I don't see you? Surprise, mother... Before you watch any further, you better like and subscribe. I'm watching you. Also, if you're on mobile, make sure to smash that high button. But genuinely, it really helps me out. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, back to the video. Now, we're moving on to Gemini. I'm literally just asking it the same exact thing. Yeah, it's going. No time wasted with this Gemini here. Super Michael, bro. Ooh, okay. All right, it's a bit fast. Goombas just eliminate me right away. I've got live game mode. Oh, this is a rage bait game. Okay, let me just jump. Oh my, there we go. We did it. Oh no. I think I might have accidentally made a rage bait game, you guys. Okay, so the blocks don't do anything, but to be fair, Super Michael Bros on GPT didn't have them. So it's an upgrade for the first prompt. It's already added particles, which is pretty cool. It's got the slidiness on the eyes. That's good. Let me get, oh my, I want to see what the uh, end looks like. Oh, is this the lava? Is this... Oh, I, I can't clear that. Amazing. Just a few tweaks. Please let me jump higher. Lava jumps on level 3 are impossible. Please add power-ups, such as one which makes you bigger and one which lets you throw fireballs. They also give you extra hits. Now, I wanted to test it a bit more here. Instead of saying turtles for the next enemy, I said in bomb-like enemies that you can jump on and kick. Oh, my. These enemies at the start of the level are so annoying. Oh, they got the bombs in. Oh, I really want to test it. Ooh, look at the power-ups coming out of the blocks. Look at the fire flower. Look at Michael in all of his glory this is amazing okay so all the enemies literally just walk right for, and they just take me out as well okay they just, that is so oh wow well, that's a cool detail i didn't even ask it to do that what that's right and there's all right please give gemini a maybe this game will be more active than the real version okay it's going thank you buddy now there you go all right it's cooking now uh, among us too i feel like chat gpt always misses the mark on the first prompt like gemini is always bang on but this mm. i guess we'll have to see it almost feels weird talking about among us uh, like it's been so long since i've heard it oh my goodness come on gpt gemini would already be on its fifth prompt by now it's gonna be a lot of lines of code this is like looks like it's like 400 or so oh it's gonna do something weird about it. please just just give me a simple game i hope I get him past what on earth is okay great gpt just a blank screen just what i wanted just wasted five minutes of my life i'll never get back <gasps> oh we're in we're in okay we can move out anywhere i can't go off screen which is good the imposter's taking control of the ship this isn't quite what i was expecting oh it's pink then we just flip in can i do this should have read the control okay yes crew four i acted straight yeah get rid of crew four i think it was it yeah secondly i want there to be tasks you can do like in the real game wait can i do tasks oh that's actually quite cool Task in progress. Click inside the box. Quickly to fill in the bar. What a riveting task. Flip off, man. Let me let me do the task. Oh, <laughs> they're all the same. I just put make map bigger and camera follows me around. I get 50% chance to be an imposter. Increased variety of tasks. If I'm an imposter, uh, then an AI has to see me, report me, and convince the other AIs it was me before I can vouch for myself. Also, let imposters vent 
uh, about the different rooms, more detailed sprites. I'm also just gonna say it has to be a voting process to get me kicked off or to get the imposter kicked off. Make these AIs intelligent but gullible and we all speak in a group chat. So it's like the real game. You can sort of um, gaslight them a little bit, convince them that it wasn't you when it really was. Um, and I'm just curious to see how it actually goes about this because it'll be pretty interesting to see uh, these, these AIs actually conspiring against me. Right, I'm counting on you, GPT. It's better be what I asked for, because I'm not waiting again. Oh, okay, all right, it's definitely a bigger map. Okay, task in progress. Hold E to stabilize system. Oh, uh, uh, this is difficult, this. Okay, we just managed. Got a little graphics update. Didn't have that gray box before. Might I add, the sprites are looking very nice. Remember and click the color sequence. I feel like I'm being patronized by these devs. Emergency meeting called. Group chat. AIs are chatty and gullible. Not sure who it is. Maybe crew two is suspicious. Well, I wanted to flip and chat with them. Uh, I want to do it while I'm an imposter then. This is not fun. Am I an imposter or not? Didn't get imposter again. I'm literally never getting imposter. This is not 50%. Oh no. I think I can just do it all the time. Let's just, let's just oh, being called. Someone saw, oh, they saw it. Oh no, it's, it's focused on me. It's, it's not right. I should be able to defend myself or something. No. Wait, so can I just always take people out? Oh, I can, okay. I'm just going to go on a spree then. <sighs> oh, darn it. That's good. Okay, that, I'm going to be honest. I'm very impressed by that. However, I want something which is a bit more true to the real game and the fact that I can speak myself out of things and I just notice it says you is sus. Great improvement, however, I'm always imposter. I want to be able to chat with the AIs once meeting is called. I want to chat back and forth with them and have them respond to what I say like how you are. Oh, during meetings, type in chat and AIs will respond. Let's see. Let's have a little meeting. I just want to see how the speaking works. Hey guys. See me so lately. I think it's what? Yeah, it's what I thought. They just put um, auto responses on it. Anyway, it's, it's still better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, that is definitely broken. Crew 7 has literally just called himself out. I'm actually, let me, let me win this as the imposter. Nice. Hello. No, 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 you didn't see that. You, you, considering that this was done with an only three to four prompts, that is not bad at all. It was a playable game, and I'm sure if you were more subtle with your um, choices for eliminating people, then you probably could have won as the imposter. Watch how quick this is just going to go. First prompt, this is just going to be absolutely outrageous. This isn't what it usually does. Gemini, it let me down. Okay, let's just give it five minutes. Let, 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 let it cook. Let it cook now. Are we there yet? Wait, what What? what just happened? Gemini, no. You're meant to do it in the canvas. This is You're what breaking you your mother's heart. What's, what's going on? What's happening? Um, I definitely didn't like that GPT one. I don't know what was going on with that. So let's just give it this. Okay, now we're going to get a true reflection of Google Gemini. There we go. Why is it not using the canvas anymore? I don't get it. This is completely off topic, by the way. Like, it's provided the code, but they usually do it in the canvas, so I want to do it in the canvas. Oh, yes. I knew Gemini would cook. All right, where am I? I'm blue. Okay. This is so good. Okay, I think I am a imposter. Let's check. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, no. This is so good. This is what I'm telling you guys. Gemini literally never misses. How do I... How do I... Is that, is that the task? Okay, that's not very good. Ah, guys, we gotta report this body. Okay, all right. Who am I? I'm blue. Definitely wasn't me. Oh, the AIs of this are actually quite good. No, you. I trust you. Wow, what a deep character. I say everyone votes for Brown. I trust you. I don't, it's you. It just keeps repeating, I trust you. Okay, all right. Brown was ejected. Oh, bless him. Okay, where am I? Where? Have I glitched into a block or something? That I can't move. That is a bug. But I just still want to play this. Oh, I got imposter again. All right, where am I? I'm green. So what if I just do this? Are they going to say anything or can I just keep doing that? Yeah, that's definitely a problem. Oh, there's two imposters. I did not do that. How does the venting work? All right.